we've woken up this morning and Ingen's put on the best Icelandic breakfast spread of all time. Check this out. So we've had our showers, we're pretty tired, like it was, it's really hard traveling. Like yesterday was such a, such a hard day, but we didn't do anything, so. So today the plan is we're gonna do the golden circle. So our first stop is Bonus Supermarket. To the supermarket! So bonus doesn't open until 11 and it's 9.30 <laughs> so luckily we've had a good breakfast from Ingen so we're ready to go for the day. So we're just going to head to the first spot which is? Well according to my itinerary it is King Vallavatn <laughs> National Park. I don't think there's much here just apart from land and like real sexiness so we'll, we'll see what we can find I guess. Let's get on the road. Where are we going? Pen Hand Hand National Park. So we've just arrived at this Penville Pen National Park. We don't know what it is, it's just like on the side of the road when we were just driving up. So I just think it is just land. Stylin for sure. Hello, I'm Icelandic male. This is uh, how Icelandic male dress. <laughs> Do you like my hat? <laughs> I love your hat. It's cool, isn't it? Wrapping the country, I love it. Got a little windbreaker on because it's a bit windy, see? So I want to break the wind. Let's go see what this is about. We need to pay for parking first though. Oh my god, have you ever seen a truck like that before? Oh, that wind is chilly. Are we cold dogs now? So there's a lovely little spot that you can just walk up to. It takes like one minute and you can see over all of the national park. Pingvella, it's May now and the, and the mountains are still snow capped, which looks just beautiful. But yeah, it was a nice little walk. It's very chilly today, cold on the old ears as well. Did you love it? It was cool, yeah, it was just a quick look. It was a bit breezy, but I can't wait to see the geysers, so let's get back on the road. All right, to the geysers. Come on, get. Whiskey! Are you feeling frisky for some more whiskey? Yeah, I'll be there. No, you can't, because you're driving. Just me then, is it? No problem. I'll just take swig for you as well, I'm worried. The next place is 48 minutes drive to a place called Kerid Crater. So one of the problems with Iceland is there's not many toilets. So when nature calls, you just gotta go. So we're looking for one right now, but it doesn't seem to be any, so I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do. I'm putting me raspberry on. Do you like me raspberry? Lovely. Oh, two please. But two, that's uh, 800. What's the damage, bro? 800 krona, which is like four quid. But you have to pay. We didn't We didn't factor this in. Whoa. That's mental. That is amazing. It's just there, like, out of nowhere. So what's this then? Tell us some info. This is the Crater Kerrid, and it was born 6,500 years ago. I spit nuts in it. How do you reckon it was me? Meteor. Reckon? Yeah. You making that up, yeah? Well, yeah. <laughs> How cool are those shots? This crater is pretty incredible. It's just there, like you pull up from the side of the road and then all of a sudden it's just a giant crater. But that was pretty wicked, wasn't it? Do you have a good time, babes? <laughs> I'm a bit windswept, to be honest. <laughs> but the sun's coming out, which is lovely. Look who's in the driver's seat. Don't talk to me, I'm concentrating. Captain Bannister on the mic. I will crash. <laughs> How are you finding it? This is a beast to drive. It's brand new, so I just don't want to break it. Concentration, please. Look at that. Yeah. Open road, baby. So we're currently en route to a geothermal pool. This is supposed to be... I forgot what's the name of it. What's it called? I think it's like Fraunalag. Fraunalag, no idea. So this isn't one of the touristy hot spots. This is a bit more secluded. So hopefully there won't be anyone there. We can have a little naked swim. 
So I think we've arrived. I think we had the right coordination, so we'll put them in our blog post. But here, you can't camp and you can't poop. So don't even think about it. <gasps> Oi, I see you. It's top of the hut up here. Got like a little shack that you can undress in and you can hang all your clothes up. And this is what it looks like in here. It's just a small little pool there, so you there's well luckily there's only two of us here. But yeah, it all floats down from over there. Come over there! Is it warm? It's nice, yeah, it's warm. It's not boiling, but it's warm. How is it? It's lovely, but when you come out, that breeze is freezing. You wonder how it stays so warm, though. Feels nice, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Good. Hey. laughs> you could have told me it was slimy. I did. <laughs> you kicked it right in my face. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> How was that? It was good. It was a bit mossy, but I do feel clean though. Like clean moss, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Though. Yeah. We're off to see the geysers. Yes. How excited are you? I can't wait, man. This is what I've been looking forward to. And it says, please pay a thousand corona. Corona? Corona. <laughs> to go in the little pool. Per so person. You have to put it in there. So it's a fiver. Geothermal heat in it from the volcano. Coming, coming from inside the floor. Yeah. That's the temperature of this water here. Don't touch it, eh? Well, you can feel the heat from here. Okay, so we're here. It's like a two minute walk from the car park. Heaps of people here, though. It's a little bit busy. But no wonder. It's pretty spectacular. We kind of saw it from a distance, but now we're real close. It's about to kick off. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! That was awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm glad we stood by you! Oh, was huge! Oh my god! That was class. The one we saw from afar was tiny. That was huge. We were like, I want that big. That was massive! So, what did you do then? How did you do it? I've got no idea, we need to research this. <laughs> Something to do with the volcano, lava, heating up water, it's too hot and it's like, piss off mate, get out of here. times have we watched it now then? <laughs> like four or five, it was so amazing. Like the first one we saw was quite small and I was like, oh, is that it? And then the second was like, yeah. like so high. I could literally stay here all day and watch it. His little brother. Wah, wah. Shit guys, they're gonna have to get pulled out back tractor. Tourists. It's like right there, you can see it already. We're not even near yet. Oh my God. Whoa. Look how close you can get. Oh my god. We've seen some waterfalls in our time, haven't we, kid? We have. We've seen a lot. But this one is up there. It is absolutely mind blowing. Hey, well, it's not just one, though. There's loads of them. It's like a big collection. They're all like BFS. Amazing. And Look. it's a constant rainbow. Look at this. Oh, no. It's quite windy, though. So we hope it doesn't take a tumble. Hello. 
<laughs> so that's us done at Golf Boss. Why are you being so weird for? <laughs> just reintroducing myself, isn't it? Wasn't that fantastic though? That was just incredible. That's probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. It was pretty bad taken. Like I hope the video did it justice, but it was just, you have to go there and see it. Yeah. You've got to. Like you just think of Barry and then you think of the Gulfoss waterfall <laughs> in Iceland. Don't do this our hometown. No, but like, there's just nothing like it. So if you've got a chance, book your flights. Yeah, you gotta come here. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It is just all about freedom though, isn't it? Because mm. you can just get the camper van and just go. Yeah. Go wherever you want. Find all the little secret places you wanna find. It's fantastic. As we were coming back to the car, we saw a bunch of people looking in at the camper because of the lights and stuff because it's super cool. And we were like, what are they doing? I thought they were like going to break in, like for sure. Turns out they're actually from Japan. And uh, we were like, we love Japan. And I got my hat out and they're like, yeah. We all had a party, it was great. That's why I'm wearing my Japan hat now. We love Japanese people. So nice to meet you guys. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your trip in Iceland. What's next for us on the so, itinerary? Well, according to my Allah itinerary, so we've got about, what time is it? Eight o'clock. So this one is an hour and 53 minutes away. Um, like we've been going all day. But it's Skogafoss Waterfall and Salin, Seljan Foss. What's happened? What are we doing? Where are we? Well, it's like halfway through the drive. I'm shattered. It's like, oh, half ten. Look how, look how bright it is. It's insane. But we were starving, we haven't eaten since lunch, so we've stopped somewhere to get some of these insane hot dogs again, which are just as good down this neck of the woods. We sniffed them out. <laughs> but I don't think I can drive much longer, so maybe, do you want to find somewhere to sleep? Yeah, we've got to find somewhere to pull up. So we've bought some breakfast and stuff. We still haven't found a bonus, so we're yet to use our bonus card. But we'll get one tomorrow. Yeah, I'm shattered now. I'm ready for bed. I have no idea where we are. We found a spot. We're gonna sleep here tonight. Craig's editing the vlog now and I'm gonna set up the bed. But this is where we are. Not a lot happening around here. No parties for us to go to. So we're just gonna get to sleep. Night, Night then. I thought it was gonna snap and smash me in the oh teeth. Oh my then. god. King of it. Rule your own world. We made it! We have arrived in Reykjavik. 